All right, you guys, so this is gonna be the Rough Country dual air compressor that is portable. This is brand new for Rough Country. They do have other compressors out, which we'll go into that a little bit later. But today we're gonna to be going over this one. All right, you guys, so this is the Rough Country dual air compressor that is portable. It is brand new for Rough Country. So if you guys do end up wanting it at the end of the video, it'll be in the description box below. But this thing is awesome. This company does have different compressors, of course, but this one caught my eye. So for today's video, we're gonna be going over the price point. We're gonna be going if it's heavy or light. We're gonna be going over things like that, including the specifications and things that I would change, which I'm going to to this one. As you can tell, it's a little bit dusty, it's dirty because I've already been using it for a little while now, but we're gonna talk about all that stuff and some more in today's video. So if you're interested, make sure to stay tuned. Let's go ahead and just crack this bad boy open and come right over here so I can show you guys what comes inside the box. So we'll go ahead and start off with the outside of this bad boy here. So it's gonna come with a rugged case with a handle. Cool thing about this is you can also add locks to it, which to me, I'm not gonna do that. I think that's a little excessive. It's gonna take time when you need to use it, but it's cool that they offered that. It's a super rugged case as well. It's basically like a case, but there's a compressor inside of it. So whether you guys go off road or just overland, it doesn't matter whenever you guys are out and you guys go rock crawl, it doesn't matter. This can get tossed around and nothing's gonna happen inside. It's super secure, the case is good, it's not gonna get damaged. So let's just open this up and give you guys some of the specifications on it. So all the way around, it's gonna have four of these little latches, which once you crack them open, it'll allow you to bring it right up. Once you pop it open like this, you're gonna get a couple things. You're gonna get, of course, your dual air compressor, which we have right here. You're gonna get your chuck, which that's where your airline is going to go. You're gonna get your on and off switch. It's also gonna come with a nozzle here, which is gonna help you read the tire pressure. It's also gonna come with the power supply, which is the wires that go connected to the battery or a power supply of your own. And then it's also gonna come with the tank here. Down at the bottom, which you won't be able to really see it too well, but right here at the bottom where my finger is, there's a pressure release. Up top right here, you're gonna notice it does come with a little bag. You can put your accessories here. You can put that there. And it's also gonna come with an air hose. With this dual cylinder air compressor, you're gonna get a three year warranty. All right, you guys, so now that we have the power cables connected, which is the red and the black to the positive and negative, now we're gonna look down here. So you're gonna notice inside the kit, like I showed you guys earlier, it's gonna come with a truck and it's also gonna come with the 20 inch airline. So right here on the actual compressor, you're gonna see there's the truck. We're gonna put this line into that. It's gonna be really, really simple. And the cool thing about this line is it unravels and ravels really easy. So you see it's like an accordion. So it's easy to open up, it's easy to put away, and it'll reach for both of your tires. You won't have to worry about it being too short. So one thing I am gonna to touch on later in the video is I'm gonna explain a little bit on this and on this that I wish they changed. So if you're interested in what I'm talking about, stay tuned to the later in the video. But it's gonna be super simple. So let's come right over here. So you're gonna notice if you've ever worked with trucks, it's the same thing. Push down, you insert, and it goes in just like that. Make sure it's clipped in. Once it is, you go to the other opposite side, which will also have that chuck. Just try not to get sand in it. I have, and it's a little bit getting stuck, so I have to lube it again, just so that way that doesn't happen. And same thing, you get the line that comes with it. You insert, and super simple, you put it right in. Once you get sand in it, it makes it a little harder though, so keep that in mind. Make sure it clips in. Once it's clipped, you're basically good to go. You do want to air it out every once in a while. The way I aired it out right now at the bottom, which is the correct way, there's a release valve. You open that up and it'll release everything. In the instructions with this kit that it came in, it'll explain on how to do it. There's a little piece of paper, so don't throw that away until you're familiar with the system. On this right here, you're actually going to get, once again, the nozzle. That'll air up. You let it go to check the PSI when you're airing up. I'll show you right now. You air up, you let it go, check PSI. There's the PSI, and then right here, push down, you insert it into the valve stem of the tire. So we're gonna go ahead and connect it right now, which I'm sure anybody knows how to do it. You go to your valve stem, push down, you insert it, make sure it's in. 
So right now it's reading that I'm a little under 40 PSI, so I'm at about 38 PSI, which is usually what I run these tires at anyway. Um, so the next step what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna turn this bad boy on. So looking right here, all you do, you push down. Before I do that though, keep in mind, it is a little bit on the louder side, but it's gonna actually create air. And once the air is at its max PSI, it'll stop kicking in. And right now, while this thing is compressing, I do wanna let you guys know, you could either one, just start putting in air, but I noticed something that if I let it run, and then once it kicks off, and then I go to air up the tire, it seems to be a little faster. So I'm gonna go ahead and let it do that. I wanna show you guys something. So right here off to the side, if you need to air down, you can go ahead and push it, and it releases all the air of the tire. So. This one, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, may take a little longer this way. So that's cool that they offer that on the side of this nozzle. But if you guys do have like an ARB quick release for the valve, I'd probably use that, it'll be a lot faster. Or for example, I do have the pump and dump kit, which allows me to air down these tires a lot faster. So I'll explain a little bit later on the video about this. I'm gonna go ahead and air down these tires. Before I do that, I wanna show you guys digitally the PSI. So as you can see, we're, we're at about 38. It's 37.8, so basically 38 PSI. So Rough Country's uh, compressor tire gauge is actually pretty accurate. So I'm gonna go ahead and now air down to 15. All right, you guys, so just to show you digitally, uh, it's at 15 PSI, that's where we've aired down. Right now we're gonna go ahead and grab the Rough Country and we're gonna air this thing back up to about 38 PSI. I'm gonna time it. One thing I did wanna let you guys know about this though is uh, the compressor will kick on and kick off, so don't get scared if you hear it turning on and off. So right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and connect this and we're gonna time it just to see how long it'll take to get back to 38 PSI. Make sure to stay tuned after the timing. The reason why is because I'm gonna give you guys my opinions on this kit, and I'm also gonna be showing you guys a couple things that I would change personally if I was the designer of this. I'm gonna use my stopwatch to see how long it takes. So let's get it cracking. All right, you guys, so there it is. So reason why I stopped at three minutes and I have the digital gauge, we're gonna see how long it took from 15 PSI, leaving it on for three minutes. We're gonna check the PSI now. Uh, this is gonna be new to me. I've never checked the timing on it, so it's gonna be new to me. So let's see uh, what it does in three minutes. So what I'll do right here, and the only reason why I'm using my digital gauge is because it's easier for you guys to see it on the camera. So let's go ahead and pop this bad boy in. So keep in mind, we went from 15 PSI to let's see what it was in three minutes. Oh crap. Okay, so we went from 15 PSI to almost about 35 PSI. So keep in mind, I mean, usually most people will air down to about 18 PSI and most people air back up to about 35 to 38 PSI. So three minutes per tire, in all honesty, it's not that bad. Uh, go ahead and time your compressor and you let me know in the comment section below what yours does. I'm curious. All right, you guys, so now that I showed you guys basically how fast it took from going 15 PSI to about, like we showed you, about 35 PSI, takes three minutes. Uh, once again, go ahead and comment it down below. Uh, let me know what your compressor takes. I don't know if that's fast or not. So it'll be cool when I do the versus video. It's gonna be this one versus my VR versus my Summit Off-Road compressor. And then I'm gonna see if someone has a dual air compressor from ARB, the onboard one. I have a single ARB, that's for my front locker, so that doesn't do us justice. Uh, so stay tuned for that video. But let's go ahead and now dive into my opinions and what I would change about this. All right, you guys, so now that I showed you guys what comes inside the box, we showed you guys just exactly how to put it together. We showed you guys how to use it. We also showed you guys how long it takes to air up one tire. So go ahead and do the math on four tires, if you guys were curious. And another thing I did wanna tell you guys, now that we're at the end of the video, we're gonna go ahead and now give you guys my opinions, my thoughts, just my overall review on it. Kind of like, is it worth buying it? Uh, what the pricing is on it, what I would change on this kit, which I'm gonna do to mine eventually. So let's just dive right into that. So first off, let's start off with the price of this whole kit 
that you get inside. So this is technically all you would need for any of your rigs and you can transfer it over because it does come with that rugged waterproof case. So what you get for all of this, it runs $499 at the time of this video. So for some of you guys, you guys may think it's worth it. For some of you guys may think it's a ripoff, but think about it. You're getting an all-in-one kit that you can use anywhere on any car, doesn't matter. It's not on board, so it's not stuck to your actual car. Now there is flaws to this, and this is just some things that I would personally change. Not necessarily they're gonna do it. For starters, if you look right over here, the nozzle to this thing, nozzle to this thing yeah it's like professional grade it is good grade don't get me wrong but the thing is when you're airing up four tires three minutes each if you're doing the same psi i did i know some people only air down to about 18 psi i went down to 15 all the way to about what was it 35 so keep that in mind but think about it with this specific one you have to hold it down for the air to actually come out so you're going to be there for a little while think about it three minutes each what I would have done personally is, like I told you guys previously, I have the pump and dump kit. I would have designed it with something like this, which is an open and closed valve. Uh, this one's like a two tire kit. You can buy this. If you're buying this, I highly suggest you buy this with it. It's, for, it's separate from a different company, but they work together. I've already tested it out when I'm out off road. So I know it works together. If you want the link to this, I'll, I'll leave it in the description box below. Cause this, you can literally, open up the truck, you walk away and it airs up two tires at the same time. So there you go. I mean, this is gonna be your lifesaver to this. Not saying anything wrong with it. It's super high quality. If you see it in person, you'll see what I mean. It's good quality. It has the gauge and everything. But to me personally, this is easier. I wish they would have made it with this. Who knows, maybe down the road, they'll change it up. They watch this video. Another main thing that I wish they would have changed it doesn't bother me, but it would have been cool, like overall as an idea. So the on and off switch, like I showed you guys earlier, it is right here up top and the truck is right here up top. And then of course you got your power lines that go to the battery. Those three things, in my opinion, I wish, and I'm gonna do it to mine. I'm just telling you guys, I wish they would have done it this way, but I'm gonna do it. It's not hard, anybody can do it if you understand how pipelines work. But I'm gonna go ahead and put this truck right here so I'll probably cut this out here. I'll extend the line so that way my truck can be here. The on and off switch, same thing. I'll probably drill out a little hole here or I don't know, somewhere here. And I'll grab the on and off switch, place it there. As far as the power lines, what I'll do since they're already back here, I'm gonna drill out a hole here and I'm gonna reroute the wires to go in through here. Only reason I'm saying that is because now with that being said, I can leave this case completely closed at all times only time I'm gonna to need to open this is when I go to service it. Like I said, the valve to open up the tank is right here. So that'd be the only time I'd have to open it if they created it that way. Like I said, overall the kit, you can't beat it. Whether you're a starter, off-road person, or if you've been doing this for a long time like I have, this kit will get you in any rig. As far as carrying now, it does weigh a little bit. I'm not gonna lie, it's not heavy. The other day I did do like a comparison, which I wish I'd have recorded that. I carried both this one and my old air compressor that I had, which is also a dual. They weigh about the same. I was going like this just to test it out because I wanted to see which one's heavier. They weigh about the same. This one may be slightly heavier only because of the case. So if you want something simple like that, just to get you in and out of the trails, this is the way to go. Once again, to make it an ultimate, ultimate uh, compressor, I'd highly suggest you buy this with it. Different company, I'm not sponsored or whatever, but I'm just saying it would work a lot better together. So if you want that, description box below, buy it as a kit, you'll be satisfied. So if you guys did enjoy today's quick video on this bad boy here, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Feel free to subscribe